Hey guys, today we gonna discuss what's app latest policy. What changes have been made and how they'll impact users. So, let's begin. The new policy was prompting upon the opening of WhatsApp a couple of days back clearly stating how it impacts the users and their data, which isn't looking good. And moreover, WhatsApp is sharing users' data with Facebook, which is not again good because Facebook isn't simply good enough when coming to data protection. Of course, the most famous example was the Cambridge Analytica. Cambridge Analytica was London-based political company which collect users' information without consent and use it for political advertising. The app consisted of a series of questions to build psychological profiles on users and collected the personal data of the user's Facebook friends via Facebook's open graph platform. This is only one example but believe me, there are many other like cases related to hate speech, terrorism-related one. So, how we can trust them with our WhatsApp? Let now discuss what type of information users have to provide to Facebook if they accept the new privacy policy. First one is the phone model, which phone you're using like iPhone or Android one or else. Operating system like iOS or Android or Linux. Even, battery life information also sends to Facebook. Cellular or Wi-Fi strength related information which time zone you're using, IP address, profile picture you're currently using, and your payment history on WhatsApp. No surprise here. Even status information Facebook want to share. This policy applies everywhere except Europe. Due to European strong policy on privacy, Facebook will not implement them there. If you wondering why your constitutional privacy law like Indian Constitution Article 21 and American Fourth Amendment will not apply to Facebook. Well, let me tell you these constitutional laws restrict the overreaching of state government, central government. It doesn't give a damn to Facebook or Google or any other companies around the world. So, there are data protection laws comes handy in curtains type of data. Anyway. Simple solution is to delete WhatsApp and start using the Signal app. The world richest man, Elon Musk and whistleblower Edward Snowden also recommend this app. The Signal app is based upon end-to-end -end encryption like WhatsApp but they say they don't use or sell user data, even metadata for any purpose. It's owned by non-profit organization. You can also use Telegram too but it doesn't provide end-to-end -end encryption. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video.